I don't actually know Abu Dhabi very well and it's kind of exciting for me to explore this city. So what's the difference between living in Dubai and living in Abu Dhabi? Uh, Abu Dhabi is more family orientated. More calm, it's more traditional and it's more cozy. It is, it's way more chilled and cultural than Dubai. Uh, I see more Emiratis in Abu Dhabi. I found more focus and more drive in life because there's kind of not as many distractions in Abu Dhabi. Um, Dubai can often feel like there's lots going on, lots of traffic, lots of noise. Dubai is more cosmopolitan and it's an icon when it comes to uh, nationalities. They're younger I'd say if they're in their early 20s or, or uh, maybe late 20s then I would say Dubai is certainly an exciting place to live. When I go to Dubai with my family I feel like uh, I want to go back to Abu Dhabi. They are very very unique cities and, and both are fantastic places to live. What's your plan for for today? Tonight. For tonight, yeah. There, are, uh, there is a good place I recommend you if you stay here tonight to go to Loka. Loka. No All right, for a dinner or for a it's ladies night and or ladies night, a couple of drinks. No. Okay, it's a place to so pick the yeah. girls, pick the pick the chicks. Uh, yes, mostly, <laughs> mostly like that. All right, guys, so leaving office. <laughs> Time to catch the taxi and go to the city center of Abu Dhabi. I always love coming to Abu Dhabi. The atmosphere is just like... Hi, I'm Lenny Rivian. After many things that people say to me about Abu Dhabi, I have a feeling that it could be a really nice place to live actually. At the moment, market situation is a bit better for Dubai. Uh, Abu Dhabi market is really very related to the oil prices that at the end of the day affect Dubai a lot but there is other industries like tourism uh, very much advanced there is uh, like uh, media uh, industry as well and and out of the office kind of so that's why I decided to vlog today again Taryn hello guys <laughs> we are going to we are going to courtyard by Marriott Abu Dhabi to try uh, we are going for the iftar preview so it's like the only few selected media people are invited I probably have to explain what's iftar uh, it's a traditional dinner during Ramadan the only time where people gather and can eat after fasting uh, all day. So worth to mention that Muslim people they really can't drink even water and can't eat whole day till sunset and from the run sunrise to sunset. Yeah, so it, it basically starts at four in the morning uh, and it ends around seven thirty. So the the longest day during the Ramadan is 16 hours of fasting. They are not allowed to smoke or do anything. So expecting a lot from tonight pre of time and we'll give you the report later. Arabic items, hummus, obviously, tabula, meat, lamb. But also, um, a lot of seafood, Indian food. Uh, good place for iftar. Thank you. 
And that's the end. I have, we've met, we've met lovely people. We ate. Yeah, the guy without face. Yes, ah, sorry, yes, wait, yes, sorry. Wait. <laughs> Already too long. Thank you very much. You. Let's end this vlog. Bye -bye. Thanks guys for appearing. Bye. And see you soon.